Hello friends, welcome to APM Stats Connect. Today in this video, we will discuss a question from ISS 2020 paper 1, booklet code B. Question number 35. The question is, if the probability generating function of a Poisson distribution has the value e power minus 1 at 2 by 3, then the mean of the distribution is e power minus 2 by 3, 2 by 3, 3 by 2 or 3. So, given the probability generating function of a Poisson random variable uh, at 2 by 3 is given by e power minus 1, we have to find the mean of the distribution. We have, uh, suppose x is a random variable with the Poisson distribution or x follows Poisson distribution with the parameter lambda. The probability mass function is e power minus lambda lambda power x divided by x factorial where x ranges from 0, 1, 2 etc and lambda greater than 0 uh, and the mean is the expected value of x mean of the random variable is equal to lambda also the variance of x equal to lambda for a Poisson random variable with the parameter lambda the probability generating function is given by p of s equal to e power lambda into s minus 1 okay from the given condition we have at 2 by 3 the value of probability generating function is e power minus 1 that is at 2 by 3 uh, which means p of 2 by 3 is equal to e power minus 1 from this condition, we have to find the mean of the distribution. For that, let us equate these two conditions. That is e power lambda into s minus 1 at s is equal to 2 by 3 is equal to e power minus 1. That is lambda which implies lambda into s minus 1 at s is equal to 2 by 3 is equal to minus 1. Now let's put uh, s is equal to 2 by 3 which implies lambda into 2 by 3 minus 1 equal to minus 1 which implies minus lambda by 3 that is 2 by 3 minus 1 it is equal to minus 1 by 3 lambda into minus 1 by 3 minus lambda by 3 equal to minus 1 or this implies lambda equal to 3. Okay. So, from the given condition uh, that the probability generating function uh, at 2 by 3 is e power minus 1, we found that the value of lambda is equal to 1. That is, the mean of the distribution is equal to 1. Therefore, the answer is option D. Thank you.